In today's lesson, we will review how to estimate square and cube roots. Let's go ahead and estimate the square root of 60 to the nearest whole number. Now, I know that the square root of 60 isn't exactly a whole number because 60 is not a perfect square. But I also know that it is sandwiched between two perfect squares. And so I want to focus on which one is it closer to so I can get my nearest whole number. 49 and 60 are 11 spaces away from each other, but 60 to 64 are only four spaces away. So if I want my nearest whole number, I am not going to use the square root of 49. Instead, I'm going to use the square root of 64. So my estimate is going to be that the square root of 60 is closer to 8 as a whole number. All right, let's try this one. So we're going to do the square root of 104. 104 is not a perfect square, but it is between two other perfect squares, 100 and 121. And I want whichever one is closer because I want to have the nearest whole number estimate. So 100 and 104 are only four spaces away, while 4 and 121 is, a, is 17 spaces away. So we won't be using this estimate. Instead, we're going to use this estimate. The square root of 104 is very close to the square root of 100, so my estimate is going to be the answer to the square root of 100, or 10. All right, let's try one more. Why don't you go ahead and pause me, work this one out, and then come back when you're ready to check. All right, I know that the square root of 29 will be somewhere between the square root of 25 and the square root of 36. I also know that these numbers are only four numbers apart, whereas these are seven. So if I want the nearest whole number estimate, I will not use that one. Instead, it, I know that the square root of 29 is closer to the square root of 25, so my estimate is going to be that the square root of 29 is approximately 5. All right, let's go ahead and change to some cube roots. So we're going to follow the same pattern that we have been using. I know that 6 is not a perfect cube but it sits between two other perfect cubes. It sits between the perfect cube of one and the perfect cube of eight. And I wanna know which one will give me the nearest whole number estimate. So I know that these are five apart and I know that these are two apart. So if I'm looking for the nearest one, I would not pick this. Instead, I know that the cube root of six is very close to the cube root of eight. So my estimate will be the cube root of 8, or approximately 2. All right, I want you to go ahead and pause me and try and estimate the cube root of 90 on your own. All right, the cube root of 90 is not a perfect cube, but it is between two other perfect cubes. It is between 64 and... 125. So 64 is 26 spaces away. 125 is 35 spaces away. So if I want the nearest whole number estimate, I will not be using this one. Instead, I'm going to use the cube root of 64 as my estimate, which happens to be 4. All right, final one. Again, I want you to pause me, work this out, and come back when you're ready to check. All right, the cube root of 410 is not perfect. I will not get a whole number answer, but I can estimate it using some perfect squares on either, or perfect cubes on either side. So 410 is between the cube root of 343 and the cube root of 512. Now I know that 410 is, a, is exactly 67 spaces away from 343. And I know that it is 102 spaces away from 512. And since I want the nearest whole number estimate, I will not be using that one. 
Instead, I'm going to estimate the value of the cube root of 410 as closer to the cube root of 343, which happens to be approximately 7.